Hey folks, in today's Tech Deep Dive video, I'm gonna be showing you how myself and my team have been using a crazy new AI tool to translate all of my videos into different languages with just the press of a button. Today's AI productivity tool is called Dubverse, and I've been using its AI to generate subtitles and dub my videos into different languages to make my content multilingual and reach way more people than if everything was just in plain old English. This AI productivity deep dive series is very kindly sponsored by the team at AppSumo, who have some great lifetime deals that enable you to get in early on lots of cool AI tools, as well as a host of other helpful apps for a fraction of their price. Today, we're gonna to be walking through how to dub videos with AI, how to generate subtitles in just a few seconds, and how to use text-to-speech AI voice generators to produce lifelike audio for voiceovers in your videos. I've popped a link in the description down below if you want to check out Dubverse and follow along. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive right in. So as soon as we dive into my Dubverse dashboard, we can see there are three things that we can do. We can either dub a video, create subtitles and add them to a video, or we can use text-to-speech if we upload a document or type in some text. So let's go through each of these in turn and see how I've been using Dubverse to transform my content into many different languages. Let's start off with adding a video and dubbing it. So if I click on the add video button here, I can actually copy in and paste a YouTube link, or I can use any videos that I've recently uploaded. So for example, I could head over to my channel and copy one of my more recent videos that I put out on productivity habits and then take this and add it into Dubverse and then hit enter and then press next and it will show me how long this video is. In this case, it's 18 minutes. And then I can click the next button here and it will then calculate how many credits this is gonna to cost to actually dub this video. I can also use videos that I've previously uploaded into my library. So for example, this one, which comes from that same video, which is about Benjamin Franklin's routine, which we're turning into a YouTube short. Now, this one is much shorter and it's only gonna cost us one credit, so I'm gonna use this for this example. If I then hit the next button, it then brings up the voiceover and AI-generated voice that we might want to use to dub over my own voice. And this is where things get really cool. We can choose from pretty much any language you can think of, and we can also listen to some of them to select the best ones. So, for example, if I want to translate things into Spanish, I can click on Spanish, and then I quite like the look of Jorge here with his little moustache and smart tie. And if I press the play button. Hola, mi nombre es Jorge y puedo abrir una audiencia completamente nueva para usted. So I quite like the sound of Jorge. If I then press the plus button, this will save Jorge to my preferences and it will assign him for this particular dub job. I can then save this as my preference for future videos as well to save time. So once I'm happy with this and I've made my selection of language and dub voice, let's click on Let's Dub. Now, the cool thing here is, although this might take a little time depending on the length of your video, you can actually go back to the home screen or go and work on other projects, and then Dubverse will give you a little notification once your dub task or translation task is done. Okay, so my dub task is finished with Jorge translating my Benjamin Franklin's routine clip, and what we can do here is we can either directly download it or we can review it in the studio. So the studio allows us to do a couple of things. Firstly, we can see each line of text here and we can then play this back and listen to the dub. La belleza de la rutina de Ben Franklin está en su simplicidad. Hay dos preguntas centrales que se hace cada día y luego durante seis bloques de tiempo. Las dos preguntas centrales que guían su día son qué debo hacer este día? Y entonces qué he hecho hoy? Lo que se pide por la noche para reflexionar. Luego, los seis bloques de tiempo se estructuran en torno a diferentes partes de su día. We can listen to this back and if we understand the language, we can make any edits we like here by shortening things or slowing down the speech using the resync part of the studio. And we can also go over to retune. So for example, if we don't like how Jorge is pronouncing a particular word, so if we've got something quite technical, we can listen to how he's pronouncing it and we can then either search for similar sounding words and actually replace that and fine tune things so we can get the dub sounding exactly how we want it to. We can also use the redraft function here where we've got our original transcript compared to the Spanish translation on the right. And we can look at how many words there are and how many seconds each takes. And we can then start to edit this as we like or even move things around. So for example, if we've got a faceless video that we're applying a dub to, we can actually move the sentence around and change this up and then reprocess the video if we want. Now, once we're happy, if we've not made any changes, we can just go back and download it, or we can actually reprocess this video if we have made any changes. 
And we can also roll back to any previous versions using the studio logs here, which is super, super helpful, um, especially if we're working in a team as I am. Uh, and we can also retranslate this into another language very, very quickly. So I'll put the final version of this up and you can see for yourself exactly what this sounds like in a different language, but that's taken just a few seconds to do and it's pretty amazing. La belleza de la rutina de Ben Franklin está en su simplicidad. Hay dos preguntas centrales que se hace cada día y luego durante seis bloques de tiempo. Las dos preguntas centrales que guían su día son ¿qué debo hacer este día? ¿Y entonces qué he hecho hoy? Lo que se pide por la noche para reflexionar. Next up, we're going to look at how to create subtitles. So again, we can upload an existing YouTube video or we can upload an MP4 file I might have on my computer. But in this case, I'm going to use a recent upload, which is again, Ben Franklin's daily routine. And we're then asked to select the type of subtitles that we want. In this case, I'm going to stick with English, but the cool thing is we can actually select any languages we want. So we can have multiple languages here. So I could have English and Portuguese or English and Russian. I can also select the folder I want to save this to. We can then decide whether we want to download this or we want to actually burn the subtitles. So if we burn the subtitles, that basically hard codes them into the video and we can decide on things like the style. So we can change the color, we can change the font, we can change where the subtitles are actually appearing. And this is all done again in the studio. One of the cool things here is you can actually select from a subtitle theme and you can also save your own subtitle theme if you want. I can change our vertical offset and actually put this a little bit further up in the video here. So setting that vertical offset to about 60. And we can also do things like changing the background color. We can then go over to the resync section of the studio and make sure that our subtitles are actually synced up with what is being said in the video. Really nicely here, we can just follow along with what's being said and what's on screen. So if I press the play button, we can see that the subtitles are matching up. This little red icon here, CPS means characters per second, if any areas of the video are very high character per second. So if someone's talking very quickly, the subtitles might struggle to keep up. And that just kind of draws my attention to areas of the video I might need to be focusing my editing on. And the final part of Dubverse I want to show you is the text-to-speech component. So this is really great if you're looking to build out a faceless YouTube video or you want to do some voiceover for some of your educational content or some of your learning development content if you're producing that for your employees. And what you can do here is you can either upload a text file or a Word document you might have prepared earlier, or you can just copy and paste into the text field anything that you want the text-to-speech system to actually say. So, for example, I might put in this thing about the immortal jellyfish, um, which I've used before for showing off some text-to-speech tools. Again, this will calculate the cost based on the character count. And again, I can select my voice and language, but I'm just going to keep it in English for the moment. For a fanatic who loves to explore the vast possibilities of the human voice. Okay, Josh sounds pretty cool. I'm going to add him and then I'm going to go let's TTS. And once that's been generated, I can either download it and use it or I can edit it in the studio. So let's head over to the studio. We can edit things if we want or we can retune things and we can listen to Josh talking about the immortal jellyfish. The immortal jellyfish. Turritopsis dorni, often referred to as the immortal jellyfish, has a remarkable capability that sets it apart from other creatures. This small transparent animal found in the world's ocean now, I find the AI voices on Dubverse to be absolutely awesome, especially when I've recently reviewed a ton of different text-to-speech systems and AI voice generators on one of my videos that I definitely recommend you check out, which I'll put up over here. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Do make sure you check out Dubverse using the link in the description below if this is something that interests you, and I'll catch you again next time. See ya.